So at 30, I found someone that spoke to me and I didn't believe that he was lying. I delivered myself to Alfredo Cortez and 90 days later, I didn't have any disease. I didn't eat anything. I believe what he said. He said, don't eat for 90 days. All of you would say, what? Don't eat for 90 days? Then how am I going to live? How are you going to live? The stuff you eat is killing you. So if you just stop eating it, that's a plus. <laughs> that's a plus in itself because it's killing you. Stop it. What is a good breakfast? Three glass of water or four. Why? Because that's electrical. So when Egbert walked and Egbert didn't have food from the day he was born, I was fortunate that at 30 I met someone that introduced me to food, to God food. So I got iron in large quantities and that is the mineral that is consistent with us, the black people, iron. The doctors tell you that you're not supposed to take iron because it would bind you. He is 100% right. Providing the iron is ferrosulfate, it will bind you. But if it is the iron that God made that we use in our compounds, uh-uh, it gives you energy. It makes you, hey, I could do more work and I'm not tired. Well, of course, the body needs energy. And you could only get energy from the substance that God made, not from aloe vera, not from comfrey, not from peppermint, golden seal, garlic. These are all man-made products and you didn't know it. No, we didn't know it. Because if we had, we, we would not offer that. Now, you know something? Somebody is being caught with a hand in the cookie jar. Go read the herbal books that our brothers wrote. And in all of them, they got garlic. Boy, they're in trouble. Because after you have read these books, and I've not received from these books any cure, and then he had these things in there that doesn't work, what is he going to do now? Is he going to tell you guys, I'm sorry? What saved me from saying, I'm sorry, is that <laughs> Mrs. Holloman. Mrs. Holloman is a woman that I was treating in Los Angeles. I was a very young healer, I maybe a year into it. I'm rubbing her legs with the salve. This salve works for anything. Rest assured, headaches, backaches, I mean, even stretch marks to remove them. Hemorrhoids, just name it. This salve works. So I'm rubbing her legs and the circulation begins to reestablish. She said to me, what am I going to eat? I said, drink penny carrot juice, drink beet juice, drink celery juice. And the woman said, stop. She said, son, you, you know how old I am? I said, yes, ma'am, you're 94. She said, well, I didn't get to 94 being stupid. <laughs> she said, I didn't get to 94 being stupid. And what you just told me was something very stupid. I said, why, ma'am? Or oh, the book says that garlic is a food and so is the celery and so is the uh, carrots you mix them together she said son those things are made I said what man made by who it come out of the ground man God made everything that come out of the ground no son <laughs> she said no that, that's why you're crazy don't do that right now don't say that I said but man all the book says it she said that's what the book says that's what Miss Holloman is telling me that's what the book says God ain't saying that and that's true she said, what you do? Don't tell anyone that you're healer. Stop. Just stop. Stop doing what you're doing because you don't want anyone in the future to do this. You told me something wrong. Don't do it. When I was working as a steam engineer, I was doing this on the side. So I, she told me to go to the University of uh, Arizona, uh, Department of Agriculture, industrial agriculture plant husbandry I went to UCLA I went to Minnesota I asked for books that was related to the subject of agriculture and guess what I found 
that everything you find in the supermarket was made. They have 666 varieties of apple. They have 32 varieties of cucumber. Rice, they have about 25 varieties of rice. But you know what we didn't know? Is that anything that has starch, God didn't make. And do you know that everything that man made has starch in it? Whether it is collard greens or mustard greens or whatever. Because God could not have made something with starch. Because God would make, be making something to offend the people that he so loved. God doesn't do that. So this iron that we all need, I was recommending it. We, we have it in two forms, see? This bottle and this little capsule. I were in Los Angeles and I had seen all of the patients. My compound had ran out. All I had was a case of iron and one little bottle of cleanser. A man called and said how sick he was and that he was on the way. Didn't give me the chance to tell him, look, I don't have anything else. The man came, but by the time that he left his house to get to me, I was on 82nd Street in Crenshaw in Los Angeles. I done designed something in my head. He sat down, he said he had poor circulation. His back was hurting him. High, pre high, high pressure. Selim went to the bathroom. And when he walked, he said he didn't walk straight. He would, like, he want to sway. That happens when the air drum is clogged and you're losing your balance because the head is clogged. Me and my ingenuity, I told the man, I want you to take one bottle of this a day. A whole bottle. 